Hey everybody, Varun here from Language Academy. Guys, welcome back to another video. This video, we are going to look at the scoring system of the Pearson Test of English PT Academy. In this video, I'll be giving you complete information and in-depth analysis of which all question types are important. If you're missing out in any of the modules, what you should actually focus on and how much points are contributed from one module to the other so that you have a clear picture of what is important, what all you need to work on and what other things you need to avoid. I'll be sharing my screen. I'll show you the calculation. I'll show you the contribution. I'll show you which all tasks are important and which all tasks are not important. At the end, I'll be giving you a practice plan as well. These are the latest marking distribution. So make sure you understand how the marking criteria actually works, how many points are required to crack each and every module and few other hidden secrets as well. Let's get into the video. Plus, I'll be telling you if you're missing out in any of the modules, how you have to see what mistakes you're making in that particular module without taking the full mock test. Let's get into the video. I'll be sharing my screen and then we'll go from there. All right, guys, um, very important. You understand that how the marking system works. PT scoring system or the marking system. First of all, your points are calculated out of 90. The scorecard which you'll get will have a maximum points of 90. But remember this thing, the lowest points in PT are 10. Let's say if you do not attempt anything right, you will not get a zero. You'll get 10. So 10 is basically equivalent to zero. Therefore, your exam is only 80 points in each module. So 80 in speaking, 80 in writing, 80 in reading and so on. From speaking, Speaking gives you points in reading, speaking gives you points in listening, writing will give you points in reading. All the modules are interconnected, but there are two to three things you need to note over here. Speaking read aloud, repeat sentence and read a lecture. These three are marked on fluency, pronunciation and content. Let's say read aloud is marked on fluency, pronunciation and content. In this case, fluency and pronunciation will give you points in speaking and content points will go in reading. As I mentioned, Speaking, read aloud, repeat sentence and read a lecture content part. Content part goes in reading for read aloud, for repeat sentence and read a lecture, it will go in listening. Speaking, read aloud, repeat sentence and read a lecture, the fluency and pronunciation part, this part will go in speaking. And the score which I'm going to show you is, is an estimate and can change a bit depending on your exam pattern. Let's say one student has got four right from dictation, other has just got three. So the right from dictation contribution for the four right from dictation will increase. But this is good enough to give you a good idea of what you actually need to work on and what are the things which are important. All right. Now let's have a look at speaking. These are the six question types which you'll get in speaking. These are the normal or average number of questions. For example, you'll get one personal introduction, around six read alouds, 10 to 11 repeat sentences, two to three describe images, one to two read a lecture and five to six answer short questions. In speaking, I have told you read aloud gives you five points in fluency, five points in pronunciation, and five points in content. So out of 15, 10 points go into speaking and remaining five, they go into reading part. So for read aloud, 15 minus five means total points minus five points which are going in reading is equal to 10 into six is your contribution. Similarly for repeat sentence, 100, so you get five points in fluency, five in pronunciation and three in content. These three points will go in listening. Describe image, everything goes in speaking. Read a lecture, fluency and pronunciation will go in speaking. And answer short question, one point for each question. So altogether, we have 230 points, which will later be converted out of 80. Why not 90? Why 80? Because 10 is equivalent to zero. So your marks are only out of 80. So an estimate contribution for read aloud in speaking is 28 points. Repeat sentence, 31 points. Describe him as 12 to 13 points, retail lecture 6 to 7 points, answer short question 2 to 3 points. So what is the most important? These two tasks are very important for speaking. These have a moderate importance. This is not marked. And this one is, you know, not that important. You shouldn't be worried too much about this. Similarly for writing, two summarize written text, one essay, five reading writing blanks, two summarize spoken text, three listening blanks, three write from dictation. This is an average, can vary a bit. Total contribution is 119 points and when we calculate this contribution out of 80, we get around eight points from summarize written text, around 10 points from essay, 17 to 18 points from reading writing blanks, 10 to 12 points from summarize spoken text. Similarly, around 11 to 12 points from listening fill in the blanks as well. 
and then around 21 to 22 points from right from dictation. This should be around 10 to 11 points and this should be around 13 points, right? Now, what do we take out of this? We take this out that most important are your reading and writing blanks and write from dictation. Then summarize spoken text and fill in the blanks. And somewhat important are summarize written text and essay. Whenever students are missing out in writing, right? I always tell them don't focus on writing because these two tasks are only giving you 18 points. The remaining points are coming from these four question types. You have to focus on write from dictation. You have to focus on reading, writing blanks, then summarize spoken text, then listening, fill in the blank. Make sure you work on these things. Please. Then we have got scoring criteria or calculations for reading. In reading, you get points from read aloud, five points per question. Summarize written text, you get two points in content in summarize written text, which are transferred to writing and to your reading as well. Reading and writing blanks, MCQ multiple reading, reorder, reading blanks, MCQ single answer, then highlight correct summary from listening and highlight incorrect words from listening as well. So this is the calculation and total points of 106. When we convert these 106 on pro rata basis out of 80, we get 22 points from read aloud, around 19 points in reading, writing blanks, around 19 points in reading blanks. Then around six to seven points reorder paragraph, seven to eight points highlight incorrect words. Summarize written text, not that important for reading. MCQ multiple, not at all important. MCQ single, not at all important. Highlight correct summary, not at all important. What is actually important? Pay attention over here. Read aloud, very, very important if you're missing out in reading. Reading blanks, very, very important if you're missing out in reading. Reading and writing blanks and reading blanks, very important. Reorder, somewhat important. Highlight incorrect words, somewhat important. You have to make sure if you're missing out in reading, you focus on read aloud. You focus on both the reading blanks and then highlight incorrect words and then somewhat on reorder paragraphs. Don't worry about MCQ multiple. That's why I always tell don't practice this. Don't practice this. Don't practice this. If you focus on read aloud and both the reading blanks, you have already covered around 60 points out of 80. So just from three question types, you're getting around 75% of your scores, right? So you have to make sure you understand what is important and work accordingly. And then lastly, listening. In listening, you get points from speaking three question types, repeat sentence, retail lecture, answer short questions, and then eight questions from listening. We have calculated the contribution, three points you get from each repeat sentence into listening, five points from each retail lecture. And similarly, we get points from listening in listening. The total is 120. And when we convert this out of 80, the most contributing task is repeat sentence and write from dictation, followed by summarize spoken text and then listening fill in the blanks as well. You have to make sure that if you get three listening fill in the blanks, the contribution will go around 11 points then contribution or weightage of other modules or other question types will decrease. But what do we take out of this calculation? If you're missing out in listening, focus first of all on repeat sentence and write from dictation. This will cover around 50%. Then summarize spoken text and listening fill in the blanks and highlight incorrect words. Then retail lectures are somewhat important as well. Answer short questions, not important. MCQ multiple, not important. Highlight correct summary, not important. MCQ single, not important. Select missing words, not important. You have to focus on repeat sentence, a bit on retail lecture, summarize spoken text, listening, fill in the blanks, highlight incorrect words, and write from the page. If you do so, 100%, your scores are going to go up. Now, what do you need to do? You need to focus more on read aloud and repeat sentence. This will increase your reading and your listening. You have to manage your time in reading and listening. Otherwise, you'll miss out on the important questions. This is the most important question, and this is at the end of the test. If you're not able to finish it, you lose around 20 points. If you spend time here, 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 you only get three points out of these three question types. And to get these three points, you are going to miss out on 20, 25 points. Reading and listening, do not spend more than, I'll say, 10 seconds in MCQ single, multiple select missing words, and highlight correct summary. Don't stress. You just follow and focus on these areas. Read aloud from speaking, repeat sentence from speaking. Both the reading blanks and somewhat reorder paragraphs. Summarize spoken text from listening, listening blanks, highlight incorrect words and write from dictation. If you're missing out in listening, make sure for these three tasks, you focus on the spellings. 
if your spellings are good if you are not making any spelling mistake in summarize spoken text listening fill in the blanks and write from dictations your scores in listening and writing will go up this is what you have to practice every day 20 read aloud 30 repeat sentence 20 reading blanks 20 reading writing blanks 5 to 10 reorder paragraphs if you're aiming for six or seven don't worry about reorder paragraphs Two summarize spoken text, 10 listening blanks, five highlight incorrect words, and 30 write from dictations. After every three days, you have to take a mock test. I'll show you how you can take sectional mock test and see, let's say if you're missing out in listening, right? You can see if you're losing points because of your repeat sentence or your listening fill in the blanks. Let me share my screen again. I'll show it to you. All right, you just need to go on languageacademy.com.au, register and log in. And when you go here, take the extensive mock test, right? You go to, let's say you, you want to see what mistakes you're making in reading your writing mock test one mock test is free reading is free and listening is free as well so when you take the reading mock test you will get each and everything so, over here it's not just the reading module you'll have read alouds as well you'll have summarize written text as well fill in the blanks highlight incorrect words highlight correct summary so this will give you a good and clear idea of what you are actually missing out on you can even use the one line strategy over here all right you can save and exit resume many time later as well. So you just need to register here. On top of that, you'll also get one free full mock test as well. You take the full mock test, you'll get a complete scorecard, feedback, analysis, each and everything which you need to know to crack your test in the very first go. Also question-wise strategies, let's say you're not really sure how you have to attempt reading fill in the blanks, right? The VIP videos are available over here. You'll get complete explanation of what rules you have to follow, what things you have to take care of. You just need to go on languageacademy.com.au, register over there and practice from there. Or you can download LAPT exam practice app as well. It's available on Android and iOS. Now that is it from this video. The main aim of this video was to guide you that for speaking, what all tasks are important for listening, you get around 50% of your scores from speaking. So for your listening, you don't just have to focus on listening. You have to focus on speaking as well. For your reading, you need to focus on your read alouds and highlight incorrect words as well. So everything is interconnected. Out of the 20 question types, only 10 to 11 are important. 8 to 9 are not important. Don't focus on 8 to 9. Just focus on the important parts. Practice for two to three days, take extensive mock tests every five days, take a full mock test. And until and unless you're not really getting your scores in the full mock test, don't go for the test because the scores you which you're getting over here is quite similar to what you'll get in the actual test. And that will give you a clear idea of what mistakes you're making so that you can fix your mistakes here and don't repeat the same mistakes in the test and get your desired scores in the very first go. If you do have any doubts, let me know in the comment section. I'll try to answer and I'll try to make a video on that as well. If you want me to cover any other topic, let me know whatever you're finding difficult. I'll be more than happy to help you. Varun from Language Academy, if you need any help, we've got our branches in India, in Nepal, in Australia, and we have got online classes for all our students in Canada, America, anywhere around the world for PT Academic and PT Core as well. That's it. You can contact us, visit our website, Um, you know, just fill the form or send us a message and we'll be with you and we'll make sure you get your desired scores. That's it. Now go and practice. Remember, if thousands of students are getting their desired scores every day, if I have done it, you can do it as well. But you need to make sure you work smart, work hard as well, but in the right direction and under the right guidance and success will be yours. Go register on languageacademy.com.au. I'll see you in the next video.